This is a Game Caviar production. Boom! Everybody hit the deck. Not having any Game Caviar Studios playing some Army of Two Devil's Cartel. I've recently finished this game earlier today, and I will say that I enjoyed the game very much. And I believe that they have uh, allowed this game to continue story that with the story. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin it for anybody in case there are people out there that still want to play the game. But there are a bunch of twists in the storyline of Army of Two that occur in this game, and they're pretty awesome. I will say that I didn't really have any problems with this game. I know, except for right here, man. Like, I couldn't shoot this dude until he, like, came out of there. That was weird. But anyway, that, yeah, but that kind of goes into what I was uh, going to say. There were only just technical problems with this game. Sometimes the, you could go so far and there would be, like, a barrier with a blue square and an exclamation mark on it that would prevent you from progressing to the next part of the 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 level and sometimes it's just man it's, it just wouldn't go away there was another time when uh i guess it glitched and i was knocked down and i needed to be revived and my my partner he wouldn't uh what's his name bravo he wouldn't revive me so uh other than that this game was pretty good uh, the, the, the weapon customizing was really good, and the weapon selection was even, even better. And, you know, this, this whole, after, after the, uh, what is it? After the, the level, or the section inside of a level, you get to go to the armory, and you can choose your layout, you get a primary weapon, a secondary, and a sidearm. Your sidearms are pistols. Of course, you can't change that. You can only change the type of pistol. Uh, you can't, like, make it into something else. But your secondary can either be another assault rifle, uh, LMG, or shotgun, or something like that. And then you customize it even further. Of course, they have the, the really cool uh, weapon skins that are, that are found in Army of Two games. I had a really cool snake skin one on my uh, PP-90. They don't call it the PP-90, but it's essentially the same weapon. So... Uh, right here, I don't I don't think I'm gonna go to it, but right here you go somewhere and they tell you all your scores and how much money you got and you can go to Shit. go to armory if you click on that that's how you set up your your classes and you buy weapons and then you buy the add-ons for the weapons. I had the shotgun like the assault shotgun with the dragon fire rounds, which kind of see right there, man. Right now, I'm just waiting for my partner, which is cool because I can understand that. But there have been times where both of us, yeah, this is it. We see both of us are just standing there and it's just like it won't. And now it finally went away. I guess sometimes maybe I was moving too fast and it was loading the next round or the next cutscene or whatever. But uh, still, you see my character right there with the official game caviar mask. I didn't un I didn't unlock any sort of letter, so I couldn't actually put game caviar on it. And I don't know whether you can or not in this game. I did not see that option. I'll check again, but I did manage to get the color just right with the current logo and the uh, the the eagle. That I mean, that's pretty much. Uh, it looks kind of like a, it's a bird, so you know you get the point. Yeah, I mean it's not exactly the same because they don't allow you to do the the custom uh, face mask go online like they did with the uh, previous games, which sucks. I I didn't agree with that. And mostly because, man, when I got Army of Two the last time, uh, what was it, the 40th day, like, by the time I got that game, it was already, like, they had already shut it down. Or they were about to, or it was, like, it was close to it shutting down, and I didn't know about it, so I didn't get a chance to partake in it. When I heard about this game, I was like, yes, custom mask. I really get to do it this time, and no, I don't, because I set that dude on fire. That, hey... That dragon's breath, dragon's breath, or dragon's fire, whatever it's called. Those rounds for the shotgun are no joke. I'm talking. Look at that. I mean, I'm setting people on fire, and it works because uh, it's it's almost like you get close on somebody. I mean, it's pretty much an instant. Sometimes you got to shoot people twice. Of course, when you do the brutes or whatever, you gonna have to shoot them. I really wasn't. What I did, how I managed to get those guys and defeat those guys really easily was I had a gun with a really big clip and I just unloaded that clip into it. 
and two, the Brute. And then when I was out of ammo, I just switched to my shotgun and I normally finished them off. Uh, right here, it wouldn't let me progress because there's always a, there, there's a guy hiding somewhere and you have to find it. Though there, Those are the two things besides the level loading times and occasionally there would be one person, one or two stragglers that you have to go back and search for. I didn't like that. I really wish they had some sort of uh, map. That way you could tell where the people are within a certain area, but... Uh, other than that, man, this game was fun. Like I said, the storyline was really good, and I really enjoyed playing it. And I, I've been a fan of Army of Two, so it's not like, um, uh, well, I mean, I, I haven't been the biggest fan, but this game definitely has me eager to see where they're gonna take this, uh, take this series next. They, they definitely set it up for another game, so hopefully that's what they do. And if they do, I'll be there to get it. Anyway. This has been Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel on Xbox 360. I'm not having it in Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.